Just like to give a big shout out to Touchdown Digital for sponsoring this week's video. Well hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all fighting fit and well. Uh, first up I'd just like to once again say thank you to the people that have um, participated in our one-on-one -on -one uh, photography courses here at Sniper Photography. I know that you would uh, would like to book um, some workshops with us, but unfortunately due to COVID in New South Wales, we are unable to do that at this stage. However, um, I've got everybody's details that have inquired about this and we'll be back in contact with you once we're able to. But thank you to the people that have um, sat through the hour of tuition on the one-to-one -one classes that we are currently holding here at Sniper Photography. So today, I want to introduce you to the Pelican 1510 hard case um, for photographers. Now, I've had this for about two and a bit years now, maybe well, close to three years actually. Now, I own two of these. This is the 1510, which I use uh, for interstate travel um, or overseas travel. It, um, it is designed to go in the overhead locker above your seat on an aircraft, so the specifications meet their standards. Now. I have to say, um, these particular cases are virtually indestructible. Seriously, they're made in the United States, and I know that the US military use these for lots of purposes. You can get everything from gun cases right up until scientific cases. So this particular model, the 1510, is just an outstanding piece of kit. It retails for around about $550 for the box, with your choice of uh, interiors, but I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, basically what it is, it's made of this thick, heavy polypropylene plastic. Now, before I go any further with this, this thing is waterproof. It has a rubber seal uh, internally. It also has a purge valve, which is here. Now what that does, that equalizes the pressure inside this case because of being sealed at 38,000 feet in the air with an aircraft so it is absolutely um, a beast of a storage system quite frankly now it's designed like a carry-on um, luggage that you see people wheeling through airports well this is no different <coughs> as you can see you pull it along just like a uh, carry-on luggage another bag can sit on top here um, I suppose that really the only weakness on this case is this here. This moves a little bit, but you can live without it because it's it's made um, it's made so well. The strength of it is is just um, insane. So that just falls back down there like that. It has big durable handles. They're made of like a like a hard rubber. They also have these stainless steel pins, both on the side and on the top. Now, it has <coughs> double throw latches here, which I'll open in a moment. It also has um, areas to, to put padlocks on here. Uh, basically, I was out a couple of years ago when I, um, I needed some height and I didn't have a ladder or a step ladder with me. So what I did, I stood on it. Now you'd think, my God, you got you know lots of money inside here and you're standing on your photography case well it took my weight and it was just incredibly strong i mean i can throw 20 grams worth of camera gear in here and throw it in my pool and leave it for a few days open it up and everything will be dry it's just the way it's built is just insane to be quite frank um, the wheels um, they're a heavy duty wheel system here with stainless steel pins through there now internally, it has double throw latches, which is very, very good. So you go once, twice, and open it, open it up, that's it. So basically around here in the lid, we have this seal, this rubber seal, and that seals the case. Hence, that's why when you put your gear in here, and you're uh, flying on, on, on a plane, um, it pressurizes the pressure inside the case because a lot of people don't realize with camera gear, um, at certain heights, especially at elevation of 38,000 feet, there's a lot of pressure on our equipment. And this case just um, handles that brilliantly. Now, double throw latches, as I said, um, a rubber seal around the lid. Here, um, this is where it gets a bit, a bit technical with this case. You can have, um, 
various fit outs with this case. I, I prefer the foam, foam inside, the foam like our normal uh, photography bags where I can change it to suit the equipment that I have. And as I said, I have two of these. This one is for my personal use when I uh, travel overseas on holidays or I might fly into state um, for a couple of weeks just to, as a break. The other case I have is a larger case, a larger Pelican, which I put all my commercial gear in, such as my strobes, uh, the big Canon 1DX Mark II, which is a huge camera, uh, and medium format camera as well, the Mamiya. So I don't use this case for my commercial work. This is for my private stuff. Now this actually comes out like so. You can see it there. Internally, that's the internal part of the case. Now as I said, you can have this system, or you can have what they call a pick and pluck foam where you trace your uh, equipment and then cut it out with a razor blade. The reason why I didn't go with that was because if you change systems, well then what you've cut into your foam probably won't suit your new equipment, so you've got to buy new, new foam. There's another system um, that is a hard a hard sort of foam with more compartments. That's slightly dearer. That pushes this case to around about $750. I prefer this system because I'm used to it with my camera bags. I don't know exactly what will fit where. Um, downsides, I don't think there's any downsides, seriously. I mean, the thing's built like a tank. It's bomb-proof, waterproof. You could run over it with your car. I'm 115 kilograms and I stood on it. Didn't make one iota of difference to it and the equipment was fantastic still inside. Probably the only one downfall would be where you have the wheels, I'll just tip it up, it's quite a heavy case, have the wheels here, in there, you probably can't see it, but there's a bit of a bulge where the wheel comes up through the case, even though it's covered with the foam. That there, I don't put lenses on the corners, I'll put things like uh, cable releases, um, bits and pieces, bits and bobs that can go in either end where it doesn't affect, it's not, they're not affected by the wheel arch coming up through, a bit like uh, the internal of a utility. But everything else fits. This will hold uh, three camera bodies and six lenses. It'll hold the 200, or uh, well, the 70 to 200. It'll also hold my 300 F4. Um, but other than that, it's just uh, a great case. And seriously, if you're uh, going, I don't know, around Australia, around Australia trip, you're going into dusty, sort of sandy areas, and you want to protect your gear in the back of your car, for $550, seriously, um, you're making a great investment there. This thing will last me a lifetime, and I've, I've actually hammered this. This has been on, um, it's, probably, it's probably seen more countries than most people, actually, so, but it fits uh, in overhead luggage above your seat. Um, when you check it in, it's quite amazing. The people, um, like the people that check your luggage in through the security, they're dying to see what's in it. Every time I go through, they ask me to open it. And I'm proud to show them because when they see it, they go, geez, that's a good case. So when you've got somebody that's not even involved in photography uh, telling you, geez, that's a really good case, that speaks um, highly of this brand. So that's the Pelican 1510. Um, there's nothing more I can say about it. Um, it's quite deep. Um, I'll put the links to this box in the description below, but the Pelican 1510 is designed for what you see here. Um, the lid is quite hard to push down. You've got the double latches again. Up she goes. Pelican 1510. I don't think it can get much better in the way of camera story. So that's it for another episode of Sniper Photography. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, the bell next door, so you don't miss anything. Um, basically, uh, yeah, look, if you have any uh, inquiries or any questions asked about this particular case, please put them down below or you can be, or I can be contacted on our website, which is www.thesniperphotography.com. So until then, thank you for watching Sniper Photography. My name's Glenn Samuel. As I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends. But most of all, you keep smiling and keep shooting. Bye for now.